Hey guys, welcome back to the Birds Party channel. Today I'm going to share with you some really cool but easy DIY craft projects which are perfect for styling a tablescape or decorating a table now for Mother's Day or any spring celebration, but also some of these items can be used to decorate your home all year round. For all the projects in this video, the style inspiration was the boho kind of Scandinavian modern style. So there's a lot of uh, light colors, you know, but kind of like earthy tones and different textures as well. And to begin uh, our projects for this video, I decided to jazz up some tableware, which like I said, is perfect for styling a tablescape now for spring and especially for Mother's Day, uh, if you like that kind of style. So this is perfect for it. And to do that, I just used some faux leather pieces, which I found in my local craft store to kind of create kind of sleeves for my glasses which are so simple and very basic you know these are really inexpensive uh, glasses that I had at home and I thought they would be the perfect uh, way to jazz up them with some faux leather so basically I just cut up the uh, strips of leather and these came in packs of different colors and I really like uh, the colors they suit this kind of boho style really well and I just wrapped it around my glasses so obviously if you don't have the same glasses you know you can choose a different uh, you can do vases you can do votive holders you know like candle holders and stuff and you basically use the same technique and I'll be sure to leave some links down in the description box for all the supplies that I am using but you can find things like this very easily in any craft store wherever you are in the world and basically the idea was just to wrap a piece of the faux leather around the glassware or bottles or vases or candle holders make some holes and just use a little leather string to tie the whole thing together it's really easy and I used paper clips as you saw earlier to mark where I was going to make my holes and a regular hole puncher you if your leather is really thick you have to use kind of like a special tool but I just used a basic paper puncher and punched up some holes and just use the leather string to tie the leather sleeve or the leather jacket whatever you want to call it uh, around my glassware and I did it for different colors uh, to kind of give it a really nice eclectic look but you know in matching colors for my style which was the boho style that I was going for in this project but feel free to swap out the colors you know for different events or to suit your own decor and taste as well and like i said i use different colors of faux leather to kind of create my uh, table set you know for my glasses i also did a bottle and this gave it a really nice uh, uplift to these really boring really simple glasses which I already had at home. So it's a great way to also to upcycle, you know, and to make something that is really inexpensive and really basic to look quite high end and to give it a different look. So, you know, you don't have to uh, go out and buy something new for a special occasion. So if you have kind of fabric or faux leather or something like that at home, you can, you know, use it to get creative and customize your existing tableware. So it saves us a lot of money and is also a lot more fun as well, in my opinion. And for the bottles, because I didn't have a piece of a leather that was long enough to wrap around the bottle, I just used two pieces and just basically it's the same principle, but I marked it with a pencil to make it a little bit more accurate so that both sides uh, were exactly the same, you know, where I punched the holes and just used my little paper clip to kind of hold the two pieces together make the holes and tie them with the leather cord once again. And I must tell you, I don't know if you noticed, the leather uh, string that I used or the cord is in a contrasting color to the actual leather pieces. And I think that makes it look a little bit more uh, high end and it kind of ties the whole set together as you can see here. Next up, I created this bamboo uh, caning vase and with these paper palm leaves and I really like how they turned out and it was super easy. Basically, I just used some of this bamboo caning that comes in a roll once again for my local craft store and this is available online as well if you don't live uh, here in France. But if you live in France, you can buy this from the shop Cultura. And once again, I'll leave some links down in the description box. And basically, you just the idea is just to wrap a glass of vase so you can recycle some glass jars and just wrap it around the bamboo caning very easily. And because it came in a roll, it was super easy as well. 
because you know th you've already got the shape of the roll so I just wrap that around and just basically just use some hot glue uh, little beads of hot glue you don't have to use much but if you do uh, use hot glue be sure that you put the glue where you can't see it when you wrap the pieces together because if you put it on a place where there's a hole you'll be able to see it from the inside or from the outside uh, which is not really a big deal but you know if you like a nice clean look then do it like I did here and put the hot glue on a place that won't show when you close the two pieces together hope that makes sense but you can see what I'm doing here it's super easy once you've done that uh, for whatever size uh, vase that you have or container just basically trim it after everything is secure uh, in place because that way uh, nothing will be moving around it will make it easier for you to trim off all the excess of the caning and don't chuck that away because you can use to wrap a smaller uh, containers like I used the excess here that I'm cutting off to wrap a little uh, yoga pot and you know just used it as a little uh, votive holder or candle holder or sometimes to put pencils in so it looks really cute as well uh, to hold uh, stationery and uh, supplies for um, a bedroom or an office as well so for the paper palm leaves they are super easy to make and basically you can use any paper um, here this was my first one so I was using a, some a craft wrapping paper that I already had at home but then I switched to different colors of cardstock and I think they both are really cool depending on what look you're going for or to have a bunch of different you know textures so it's up to you whatever colors or paper type that you use uh, with the thinner paper obviously it's easier to fold as I'm doing here with the thicker paper the only you know difference is that you're going to take a little bit longer because the folds are going to be a little bit harder but you know you can do it with whatever thickness paper that you already have at home and once you've cut your shape and by the way I'll leave a template down uh, on the description box that you can download for free uh, but basically here I just you know kind of cut freehand but to make your life easier you know um, because I'm feeling really kind today <laughs> I'm going to leave a template down in the description box for you that you can download and use if you want to make this project so once you've cut your paper leaf uh, shape you're just going to fold it in an accordion fashion as I'm doing here hopefully uh, it's self-explanatory until you have something that looks like this Now you could leave the palm leaves exactly as they were you know for kind of a different look but what um, I did was to cut it like little pointy leaves so you're just going to open uh, the shape that you've created and whenever there's a line you know that you see of the fold of the paper you just take a pair of scissors and cut it like a little uh, fishtail or a little teardrop or whatever basically to create uh, the look of the palm leaves as you, as you can see I'm doing here once again you know the video um, images explain much better than I can <laughs> so I'll just let you guys watch if you have any questions leave them down in the description box but I think it's pretty self-explanatory it takes a little bit longer if you're doing you know a lot of leaves but you know it's not difficult at all and once you get the hang of it you'll be able to do it a lot quicker than what I'm doing here so I'll just let you guys watch Now that you've created the basic uh, palm leaf shape basically now we're just going to shape it with our hands and once again if you have thin paper uh, this is where it's a lot easier than if you're using cardstock for instance so you go to the end of the leaves or the paper pointy bits 
because uh, they're not really actual leaves <laughs> and you're just going to with your fingers kind of pinch and pull to make them look a little bit more realistic and like a dried uh, palm leaf and you just basically arrange it snip you know kind of little bits if you feel like you have to to make it look a little bit more open more realistic like a dried palm leaf really easy as you can see now for the stems i just took a stick from my yard you know so this is from a real plant to give it more realistic look but you can use like a barbecue skewers and just wrap it into some brown paper or paint it or just some floral uh, tape you know it's up to you but i think it's easier to just get a little bit of stick from from the garden you know from from the outside to make it look a little bit more like a uh, a real palm leaf and then just basically just use some hot glue to kind of uh, glue the little stick uh, in between the palm grooves and just kind of secure the bottom of the palms together as you can see here uh, don't put a lot of glue because it will look too chunky just a tiny bit of glue and just kind of add it sparingly where you think it needs it to kind of hold its shape and hold the stick in place And I just wanted to show you guys a palm leaf that I made using cardstock. So basically to show you how versatile this technique is, you can use any type of paper, thin paper, thick paper, you know, whatever color suits your decor. And the only difference is that you're just going to put a little bit more force when you're folding the paper, that's it. And when you're shaping the leaves, of course, because this is thicker paper, but I think it gives a really nice, a realistic look as well of a dried palm leaf and I really like how it turned out and I use a combination of thin paper you know the wrapping the craft wrapping paper and this thicker cardstock for my uh, table centerpiece but you can use these uh, dried palm leaves as well to decorate a vase you know or a shelf or even a wall as well to create kind of like a table backdrop it's up to you what you use them for and i've actually seen these kind of uh, paper palm leaves on balloon installations as well so if you're having a party uh, that's a really cool decor idea as well and for my next diy project i decided to create these ceramic boho inspired vases these vases started off their life as bottles that I got at my local thrift store. So these bottles were pretty old they've been sitting in my garage for a long time. So I basically just gave them a good clean. I couldn't get rid of all the painting and the stickers, you know, the branding stickers that were on the bottle. So I decided to paint them and make them look like they were ceramic vases. And these were really cool because you can use them as uh, accent pieces, you know, to decorate your home, your mantle, your table, uh, or even you can use them for uh, a bar area, you know, if you're decorating a bar area for the season, I think they look really cool. It's a really inexpensive project because you're recycling something or upcycling rather, something that would have ended up in the trash um, and you're basically transforming into a really cool decor piece. And I thought they would look really nice sitting on the mantle uh, behind my table to act as a little table backdrop if you like so that the area didn't look so um, bare and so white so first thing that i did with these was to paint them with white chalk paint and to begin with i used my uh, foam brush but as you can see it doesn't give a great coverage and uh, later on when i came to doing the second coat i changed instead of using the foam brush i decided to use a regular kitchen sponge you know the soft side of a kitchen sponge to dab the paint on and that was much quicker and gave me a much better coverage and also gave me some texture which I wanted uh, to make these vases look like they were ceramic so as you can see here for the second coat of the white chalk paint I'm dabbing the paint on and I would have done this uh, on the first coat you know if I had thought about it but obviously when you start crafting you know you use one tool or a technique and then you try something else and discover that it's better so I'm just letting you know what i found for this project but feel free to use whatever you have on hand 
you know don't feel like you have to go out and buy anything special to to create a project like this and i really like this project i think it's probably one of my favorites because once again you're using things that you probably already have at home and you're kind of transforming them into a useful or in this case ornamental piece so you know i'm all up for recycling and using stuff that you already have at home and speaking of using things you already have at home, feel free to use any acrylic paints to create a new uh, shades for coloring your bottles or your vases. And this is exactly what I did. So I used kind of like a, a pink with a little bit of, you know, beige. I can't remember exactly what the, the two colors were called, but they're just basically acrylic paints that I had at home and I mixed them until I was happy with the shade of pink. And this is not really looking pink on camera, but it is kind of like a pastel pink. And I obviously chose colors that would be in keeping with the boho vibe that I was going for, you know, kind of modern Scandinavian. But once again, you could use totally different colors for a different vibe, say if you wanted like more of a African look or more of like a kind of, you know, Mexican look, you know, more uh, warmer terracotta colors you could use that as well that look really cool and be sure they use a lot of paint when you're dabbing with your sponge uh, so that you get good coverage and also you get a lot of textures you can see uh, when the paint starts drying you get this kind of texture that makes your uh, container looks like look like it's um, actual ceramic so there's my little tip for you and last but not least we'll be making these uh, bamboo caning wall decorations or wall art and once again, I'm using that bamboo cane that I used on the first project, you know, to make the centerpiece. And basically, I'm also using some wooden embroidery hoops, but you can use any sort of, you know, a wreath form that you may already have at home for this project. And this is also really easy. Uh, the hardest bit was to get the uh, bamboo uh, caning to open flat for me to cut it to shape and you know to size but you know you'll see that with a little bit of hot glue everything is okay in the end so to stick the bamboo caning once it was cut to the embroidery hoops i just use some hot glue and i found that adding the hot glue to the hoop itself and quite a lot of hot glue was the easiest way so that way i was able to control exactly uh, where the, um, the the covering of the caning was going to go. I tried the other way around, but because the caning has so many holes, it's difficult to see exactly where the round is going to be. So do it this way because it does work. It worked for me and it worked for you as well. So once I've did that, um, I just simply added the piece of the caning on top and just pressed it down. Um, until everything was nicely um, secure and stuck in place obviously if you miss any of the little bits or the hot glue has dried on you just you know go back in with a little bit more hot glue and just you know fix any of the of the gaps that you may have really easy and to finish off this project you simply trim off the excess with a pair of scissors it's really easy as you can see here and if you need to add a little bit more hot glue where perhaps the glue went a little bit dry when you stuck the caning on top so no big deal you can just fix that with a little bit of hot glue and like i said these uh hoops look great as wall art and are perfect to decorate a table backdrop or anywhere you like in your home for a uh, spring or all year round i think they look so cool and really inexpensive to make as you guys saw as well And there you have you guys, all of my DIY boho inspired projects, which are perfect, like I said, to style a tablescape for spring, for Mother's Day or for any other celebration that you may be hosting at home this season. I hope you guys enjoyed these ideas and feel inspired to have a go. And if you do, let me know down in the comments, uh, you know, how it turned out for you. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. It lets me know that you like this kind of content so I can keep on creating more for you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.